He is advisor of Rabita Alam al Islami, Bangladesh. He is a patron of Islamic College London, UK. He is member of Sharia Council Islamic Bank Bangladesh Limited. He is member of board of uh, Presidium Ittehadul uh, Ummah Bangladesh. He is chairman of Jame Islamia Dhaka. He is advisor uh, of Bangladesh Masjid Mission. Brother Allama Dilawar Hussain Saidi. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidul Mursaleen Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu alaykum anfusakum la yadurrukum man dalla idha tadaytum ila Allahi marjiukum jami'am فَيُنَبِّهُكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ صدق اللہ العظیم Respected brothers and sisters in Islam All prizes are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the creator and sustainer of the entire universe Salat and salam to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who is the blessing for the whole universe the best guide from mankind and the leader of all the prophets. I am very grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has kindly enabled me to join the ninth annual convention of the Islamic Circle of North America. And I am thankful to the organizers of this convention who invited me and provided me with the facility to say a few words about Islam. Brothers and sisters, I have recited a verse from the Holy Quran, which is the last revelation and complete guidance from human being, whose meaning is that, O oh, you who believe, guard your own souls. If you follow right guidance, no heart can injure you from those who go astray. The return of you all is to Allah. It is that will inform you of all that you do. In the light of the ayat, light of this ayat, to want to say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us to fall duties or responsibilities, individual responsibility and collective responsibility. This ayat especially speaks of individual responsibility. Our first and foremost responsibility is to build our character by rectifying ourselves from all kinds of errors, mistakes and sins before giving dawa to others to become good, honest, sincere and so on. We should inculcate this, these qualities on us. It's of no use of you say people to do good and become headless or forgetful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَتَأْمُرُونَ النَّاسَ بِالْبِرِّ وَتَنْسَوْنَ أَنفُسَكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ تَتْنُونَ الْكِتَابَ فَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ Do you enjoy right conduct on the people and forget yourselves and yet you study the sacred the scripture, will you not understand? In another ayat of the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, tu anfusakum wa halikum nara, wa quduhan nasu wal hijara. O you who believe, save yourselves and your families from the fire of Jahannam, whose fuel is man and stones. First order of this ayat is to save ourselves so the first duty or responsibility of a man is to rectify him and then to try for others. If the individuals are good, the society will be good because the individuals make the society. In the day, in the day of judgment, 
judgment, each and every individual will be asked from the responsibilities. To become a good, honest and perfect individual, all is to achieve many qualities and the most important among these are taqwa, tawakkul, sabr, shukr, afu, tawba, and so on. Taqwa or fearing of Allah is a very important quality which taqwa or fearing Allah is a very important quality which prevents man from coming, committing in all sorts of crimes and sins. If a man fears Allah, the punishments he cannot commit a sin. Fear of man fears Allah, fears Allah's punishment is he cannot commit a sin. Fear of Allah can make a man perfect and honest man. This man is a respected man to on, on and all. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna akramakum indallahi atbaakum. Surely the most respected or honored of you in the sight of Allah is he who is most righteous, righteous of you. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered the believers to become muttati several times in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu attaqullaha haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutun wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimoon O you who believe, fear Allah as he should be feared and die not accept in a state of Islam. Another ayat Allah says Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu attaqullaha wa qulu qawlan sadeeda yusnih lakum a'amalakum wa yaghfir lakum zunubakum wa man yuti'illaha wa rasoolahu faqad faza fawzan azeema O you who believe, fear Allah and make your utterness strive forward that he may make your conduct whole and sound and forgive your sins he that obeys Allah and His Messenger has already attained the great victory. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala solves all of their problems. Those are muttaqi or pious. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا And that, and for those fear Allah, He Allah prepares a way out and he provides from him sources he never could accept. I want to conclude by a speech with another very important quality of an individual which is tawbah or repentance. In spite of trying hard to become a good man, forsaking errors, mistakes and sins man, my commit these things. Tawba removes all these bad elements and makes him fresh, pure and sincere man. Brothers and sisters, within this limited time it is not possible for me to explain all the qualities elaborately. But however, I want to say in short time to acquire these qualities is a great responsibility of an individual without which he can not be a good man and without good individuals we can never hope good society and good nation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be all of us tawfiq to understand the truth and act accordingly. Ameen. Wa akhir da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Takbir. Let's come down to what haunts us.